What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Watts here again. We've got more XXL freshmen. Today we got Polo G. I actually like Polo G. Polo G is a Chicago native. I pretty much like all the Chicago dudes, you know? Chicago's a good place, uh, regardless of what they say on the TV, bro. Like, it's a fun time there. From what I hear, I ain't never been. Uh, but uh, Polo G is definitely one of those guys who is, you know, he, he's got like a little bit of a hood hood influence to him, but it's more introspective, kind of like Saba, whereas like the mental health aspect of it and like the things that he's done are kind of uh, explained as like things he had to do. Um, so that's cool. You know, it's not just straight drill, you know, ridiculous violence. It's more of like, this is this is the helplessness of where I'm from kind of, uh, kind of music. And I like it, Apology cool. Uh, so let's just go into it. Okay. Summertime out there slaving, we exhausted from the heat. Better get a ride home, cause ain't no walking when it's beef. They only wanna know a story when they chalk them in the street. We can start right there. <laughs> I like it already. Like just as opposed to uh NLE Chopper, like if you gonna if you're gonna talk about some ratchet, if you're gonna if you're gonna be hood, if you're gonna talk about the streets, like say something that's actually real. Um, you know, I, I I'm not necessarily like the most ratchet dude, but like I, I haven't seen it before. Um, and that, that line that, uh, you know, when it's beef, ain't no, uh, ain't no walking, you catching right, bro. That's real, bro. Like if you were at a, if you were at a place that isn't, uh, that isn't all good <laughs> and you got people who don't like you, bro, you just can't be walking through the neighborhood. That's, that's a setup. That's a setup. So, I mean, like I said, this isn't for everybody, but I appreciate his flow already. And that last part he said about, uh, you know, they ain't, they ain't listening to you chalked on the street. I mean, that's, that's artistry, right? Like no one, no one has ever taken uh, as seriously as they should be until they're dead. That if you're an artist, you better understand that. You know, the, the, and that's that. So let's go back and let's hit it again. Better get a ride home, cause ain't no walking when it's beef. They only wanna know a story when they chalk them in the street. Very usual downside when that coffin getting deep. 25, that's just an age that we don't often get to see. Told bro to stay on point, cause they'll knock them off to get to me. That's another example right there. <laughs> I mean, these are these are these are hood parables, right? Like. If you really, if you really got beef out here with the with the wrong type of people, your friends are targets. It is what, and that that's why you see on the news when they talk about Chicago and all these other places, innocent person X Y Z gets killed. It's because of stuff like this. Um, it's a shame, you know. I mean, I can't get mad at it for it being a thing uh, that he raps about because it's a thing that he lives. It's a shame for society. But like, man, let's get back to it, bro. We love hip hop. Stuck in my gangster ways, I'm living lawless in the street. Ain't go to see a therapist, I just start talking to them beasts. That's a hard line. That's a hard line. I feel like a lot of people in the hood who, who become rappers do that thing therapeutically. Uh, just anyone in the hood right now probably needs some therapy because it is PTSD living in, in a system of hopelessness, helplessness, crime, etc., etc. We'll get deep into that if you want to, but we're going to get back to Polo G. I'm just trying to be that baller that my dog and get to be. I got bigger dreams because I ain't doing all this shit for me. Was always confident. They tried to tell me that I couldn't brag. Brown car box, that's where the money crack a cut stash. On the west side, I'm trying to hustle for a little cash. Angel on my shoulder can't convince me that I shouldn't spaz. All right, you can tell there's levels to this. Like, I'm not saying my dude is hitting like triple entendres. My dude is not Lupe level uh, lyricism, but this is not basic baseline rap. Like, if you're going, if you're going to do some like some hood stuff, definitely like, Go ahead and put something in there like, oh, OK, like drop a gem on there. Um, I think that he's been doing really good so far with uh, with his lyrics. And I think it's um, it's easy to follow. Like Polo G is like a is is a refreshing person after Emily in L.E. Chapa for me. Um, that goat chain. Let's look at that. <laughs> I didn't even want to mention it because I was like, I get it. He he, he feels he the goat. He clearly had to go. But like, it's a fun chain. Um, if I see goats now, I just pretty much think of Shannon Sharp and LeBron James pretty much. So like. Shout out to LeBron. We got to do better at, uh, with Portland, but let's just get back to this before I get mad. Disrespectful niggas get a zip and a foot tag like a track race. That gun went off and then they took ass. Mama disappointed. My mistakes just made her look bad. Always finding something to get into with my crook ass. Then I beat the odds because I could come up with a hook. Hey, that's one of my favorites. But dude said he uh, he beat the odds because he can come up with a hook fast. That's nice. A little box in there. Got a hook hooks with rap you, you guys get it. i don't really have to explain this to you but i appreciate that my dude is at least trying with like some with some punch lines my dude's got a little bit of lyricism with him i like it fast p-o-l-o-g that's just a name that you can't look past i'm going number one for all the times that we was put last i heard that for me that's a solid i, I know we done that's a quick one but to me that's a solid freestyle and I, I, it might have been written, but like you can't really tell. You know what I'm saying? So it could actually be a freestyle. Polo G, you get like, for me, that's a strong seven, seven out of 10. Just because I've seen some like really good freshman freestyles like JID, like 
there has been some legends like really drop some stuff on the, uh, the XXL list. I thought this was good. Definitely better than NLE. I can't even say a stupid name. Um, a lot better than him. It is quality. I think um, I'm not certain who's next. I, I was told I need to do Chica or Chica, Chica, who, however you say her name. Um, I want to see Mulatto, too. I hear she's uh, she got some funny stuff. I know she's going to be talking about that WAP. I'm here for it. Um, now, I appreciate y'all for coming by. Like and subscribe if you like my my insight, if you just like hearing me talk, or if you don't like me and you want me to stop this. Either way, go ahead and like it. Uh <laughs>